There was once a time when the realm of ghosts was reserved for the supernatural, in a world where benevolent spirits coexisted with evil entities. But a century ago, a cataclysmic shift occurred, unleashing a horde of ghosts upon the unsuspecting world. Their numbers swelled, and their insatiable hunger for human souls threatened to decimate humanity's population. Yet, just as darkness seemed poised to consume all hope, a glimmer of light emerged. The Ghost Masters, extraordinary individuals blessed with the power to control these ethereal beings, stepped forward. Through binding contracts, they forged alliances with good and evil ghosts to combat the malevolent forces plaguing humanity. Each Ghost Master formed an unbreakable bond with their spectral companion, sealed by a sacred artifact known as a Ghost Token. Those deemed worthy were granted entry into the prestigious Ghost Masters Academy, where they would train to become the saviors of humanity. In the bustling halls of Liu City's second Ghost Masters Academy, a palpable tension hung in the air. On the eve of the summoning ceremony, the candidates anxiously awaited the moment when they would call forth their ghost companions. Failure was unthinkable, for it would consign them to a life of mediocrity, burdened with the responsibility of procreating the city's next generation. As the young hopefuls whispered among themselves, their conversation was abruptly interrupted by the arrival of a figure at the classroom doorway. It was a young man, his eyes brimming with determination, yearning for a life beyond the ordinary. His name was Lin Feng, a mere fifteen years old and a fresh face at the Ghost Master's Academy. A decade prior, he had been forsaken by his parents. Their faith shattered when he selected a seemingly feeble ghost token, one they believed would never awaken. Throughout his youth, Lin Feng endured the torment of relentless bullying, his meager ghost aura serving as fodder for his tormentors. His mind snapped back to the present, a surge of urgency coursing through his veins. Failure was not an option. He had to triumph in the ghost summoning ceremony. The enigmatic figure in the classroom appeared as though crafted from delicate paper. With a commanding presence, he cleared his throat, capturing the attention of everyone present, before introducing himself as the examiner from the esteemed Liu City's Ghost Master Association. In a no nonsense manner, he wasted no time and swiftly instructed the candidates to retrieve their ghost tokens. The students eagerly rummaged through their bags and pockets, producing an array of objects and clutching them tightly in their hands. The examiner wasted no time and demanded that students channel their mental energy into their respective ghost tokens. Lin Feng's heart raced with anxiety as he gazed at his ghost token. Its form was a black and red ribbon, adorned with a small skull at its center. Doubt gnawed at him, questioning whether this token held the power to summon a ghost. In the blink of an eye, the examiner announced that the long-awaited moment had arrived, a day when they would consume a part of their ghosts. As the examiner spoke, an ancient-looking bowl belonging to one of the students trembled, then abruptly spilled its contents, a dark liquid that resembled ink cascading across the desk and pooling on the table. The ghost tokens of the students in the class began to react, their dormant powers awakening. Lin Feng keenly observed, realizing that only some in the room were as fortunate, while other tokens remained unresponsive. The commotion in the classroom was swiftly silenced by the instructor, who explained that his ghost aura had exerted pressure on the students' tokens, causing those who reacted to signify the awakening of their ghost companions. His words sent a ripple of unease through the remaining students, their tokens failing to produce any response. They were desperate for favorable outcomes, as they dreaded being ordinary citizens labeled as mere reproducers. The examiner, once again, rudely interrupted the clamor, and declared that those who failed to elicit any response from their ghost companions had long lost their spectral allies. He had no choice but to dismiss the students. One of the desperate students vehemently challenged the examiner's credibility, pointing out that he wasn't even human. Lin Feng, keenly observant, realized that the examiner was nothing more than a puppet controlled by a ghost master, serving as a substitute. However, Lin Feng's primary concern remained that his ghost token had not yielded any reaction. Another student, noticing Lin Feng's predicament, cruelly mocked him for his misfortune, citing his background as an orphan. He sneered asserting Lin Feng's ghost token would never summon a ghost. Frustration welled within Lin Feng as the boy continued to taunt him, warning him to be cautious, as a mere reproducer would never dare raise a hand against a future ghost master. The arrogant young man then turned his attention to the other candidates in Lin Feng's position, demanding their immediate departure. Dismissing them as trash, he provoked one of the students to retaliate in anger. However, before the student could react, the examiner materialized behind him, emanating a chilling, ghostly aura that unleashed a mental assault, 
causing the boy to flee the classroom. Yet the boy could barely take a few steps before collapsing to the floor, leaving the rest of the class stunned. Lin Feng, too, was awestruck by the sheer power of a ghost master. Meanwhile, the examiner clarified the situation, asserting that those who had successfully summoned their ghost companions were on a different level from those who had failed. With that, the latter group was ordered to exit the classroom. Lin Feng, wearing a gloomy expression, was the last to walk out the door. His eyes were fixated on his ghost token as he went outside. Meanwhile, the successful candidates were taught how to summon their ghost companions. Lost in thought, Lin Feng gazed at his token, questioning whether he was a failure. The students were excited inside the classroom, chatting animatedly and proudly, revealing their newly acquired ghost companions. They celebrated their newfound success and the change in their status, each of them now a coveted ghost master. However, the jubilant atmosphere was abruptly shattered by a piercing scream that echoed from one end of the room. The bully from earlier found himself in a dire predicament as he had lost control over his ghost summoning. Panic and fear gripped him as a ghostly blade materialized from his chest, emitting an eerie purple miasma. The situation had taken a dangerous turn, leaving him in a precarious state. He had conjured an evil ghost from his token, which promptly proceeded to possess him by entering his body through his mouth. The result was a grotesque figure with sunken, darkened eyes. The boy's face twisted into a wicked sneer as he charged towards one of his classmates intent on attacking. With a swift thrust of his dagger, the possessed boy left a horrifying scar on his victim's arm, but he did not stop there. He relentlessly pursued his prey, chasing them out of the classroom while Lin Feng watched in sheer horror from the window. Lin Feng couldn't help but notice that the examiner did not attempt to intervene in this grave situation. The boy wondered if this was some twisted test for aspiring ghostmasters. His thoughts were abruptly interrupted as the possessed boy burst out of the classroom, his menacing form bearing down on Lin Feng. Gripping the dagger with deadly intent, he closed in on his target, ready to strike. Paralyzed by shock and fear, Lin Feng could not react to the unfolding situation. Suddenly, a resounding noise pierced his mind, jolting him back to reality. Before his very eyes, a luminous blue panel materialized, signaling the detection of a ghost companion's aura and the activation of a mysterious system. As Lin Feng remained rooted to the spot, his mind racing with questions, a figure clad in ethereal white materialized out of thin air. Simultaneously, a notification flashed before him, confirming the formation of a ghost companion. It all happened in a mere blink of an eye as the young boy, brandishing a dagger with fervor, closed the distance between himself and Lin Feng. Meanwhile, the newly formed ghost companion appeared like a young girl, donning a flowing white dress, her hair cascading like a waterfall, and her eyes burning like a fiery red coal. Hovering in the space between Lin Feng and the possessed boy, the new ghost companion exuded an otherworldly presence, casting an eerie and captivating aura. The surroundings were engulfed in a dazzling, radiant white light, forcing Lin Feng to shield his eyes with his arms. As he cautiously peered through the narrow gap between his arms, a mesmerizing silhouette of a young girl materialized before him. The system promptly notified him that the ghost summoning had been accomplished, rewarding him with a generous bounty of fifty experience points and a precious ghost spirit pill. To his astonishment, Lin Feng's inventory expanded to accommodate a one cubic meter storage space, along with the newfound treasures. His ghostly companion, yet to be named, possessed an F-rank status, but held a remarkable two-star potential. Its extraordinary ability, aptly named Tyr, intrigued Lin Feng, filling him with anticipation for the adventures ahead. Moreover, the companion's favorability towards him stood at an impressive sixty, captivating Lin Feng with her ethereal beauty. Lost in the enchantment of her presence, Lin Feng was momentarily distracted, only to be jolted back to reality by the system's urgent message. Utilizing the invaluable ghost spirit pill meant his ghost companion could be elevated to greater heights. It was exhilarating when the prompt asked Lin Feng if he wanted to upgrade. Without hesitation, he knew that this was the right choice. Although his ghost companion had managed to block one attack from the evil ghost, its F-ranking just didn't cut it. Lin Feng eagerly approved the upgrade, and instantly, his ghost companion evolved to E-rank. To his astonishment, this upgrade also resulted in a 30% strengthening of his own body. Who would have thought that he could grow stronger alongside his ghost companion? As they faced the possessed boy, his menacing appearance sending shivers down their spines, Lin Feng couldn't help but take in his surroundings. 
It was then that he realized his hearing and sight had also improved. The upgrade had brought about unexpected enhancements, making him even more prepared for the battle ahead. Just as Lin Feng appreciated his newfound strength, another system prompt presented him with a new mission to name his ghost companion. The significance of this task became apparent as he learned that granting a name to his companion would improve their communication, and as if that wasn't exciting enough, completing the mission would reward him with 20 experience points and 10 companion favorability points. Lin Feng excitedly pondered over what to name his new companion when the image of a young girl flashed in his memory. He knew exactly what to call his ghostly ally, Tong Tong. Tong Tong's stats were swiftly updated, bestowing her a formidable new spell, Evil Mode. Meanwhile, their adversary loomed before them, emanating an unsettling wave of malevolent ghost aura. The sudden transformation sent shockwaves of alarm through the examiner, who urgently instructed the students to take shelter behind him. The D-ranked evil ghost had unleashed its berserk mode, a terrifying state only the most skilled ghost masters could hope to confront. In this perilous moment, Lin Feng contemplated the level of the ghost that stood before him while steeling himself for the impending battle. He was resolute in his determination to aid Tong Tong, for her skill level remained uncertain, making it far too risky for her to face a D-ranked evil ghost alone. Lin Feng's frustration grew, as even though he had attained the status of a ghost master, he still relied solely on his abilities. With the possessed boy charging towards him, wielding a menacing dagger, Lin Feng swiftly took action, dragging a wooden chair behind him as a makeshift shield. As he deftly evaded the attack, he realized that his vision had sharpened, and his reaction speed had also heightened. Skillfully dodging his opponent's stab, Lin Feng seized the opportunity to trap his adversary's arm using the wooden chair. With a swift motion, he compelled his foe to thrust the dagger through the chair, utilizing the momentum to launch a powerful tackle. However, fortune did not favor Lin Feng in this encounter, for his opponent possessed an unexpected strength, swiftly breaking free from the confines of the chair. The possessed boy whirled on his heel, his dagger poised for a deadly slash. The blade hurtled towards Lin Feng's face with lightning speed, leaving him no time to react. But as disaster seemed inevitable, Tong Tong leaped into action, intercepting the attack with her bare hands. Though she suffered a slight injury, her expression remained stoic, devoid of any hint of discomfort. As Lin Feng struggled to comprehend the astonishing feat performed by his companion, Tong Tong underwent a startling transformation. Her aura darkened and thickened, her once ordinary clothes now a vibrant scarlet red, her eyes emitted a piercing red ghostly glow. In a display of sheer dominance, she effortlessly snapped the blade in her grasp, showcasing her overwhelming power. Her aura surged, intensifying as she locked eyes with her formidable adversary, ready to face any challenge that lay before her. Amid the chaos, Lin Feng and the examiner were left dumbfounded by the astonishing spectacle that had just unfolded. Tong Tong wasted no time launching a fierce offensive, summoning a menacing claw formed from her condensed ghost aura. With lightning speed, she followed up with a devastating strike from her left palm, targeting her opponent's dagger-wielding hand and propelling him forcefully into the distant hallway. The sheer power behind Tong Tong's attack was so overwhelming that it forcefully expelled the malevolent ghost that had possessed the young boy, leaving his unconscious body sprawled on the hallway floor as the boy lay there. His right arm twisted unnaturally. A system prompt materialized before Lin Feng. It notified him that he had completed his first battle. He had defeated a D-rank evil ghost and earned valuable experience points, additional favorability points, and even a coveted ghost pill. As Tong Tong reverted from her malevolent state, Lin Feng couldn't help but notice that his ghostly companion seemed to level up differently than what the examiner had described. Nevertheless, he couldn't deny the allure of the rewards bestowed upon him by the system. Just as he was contemplating this, a radiant glow caught his attention. Tong Tong was gracefully returning to her token, and her presence was once again contained within its ethereal confines. The system promptly notified Lin Feng that his companion was returning to the token for recovery due to the excessive use of her ghost aura. The imminent danger had been successfully resolved. The fellow Ghostmaster trainees from his class were all astounded by the remarkable strength displayed by his first companion. At that moment, the examiner praised his exceptional talent and bravery. Seizing the opportunity, the examiner concluded the ceremony and proudly announced that the group standing before him had officially become Ghostmaster trainees. With a swift hand motion, the examiner weaved intricate signs, conjuring a magnificent blue flame that enveloped his body. As the flame dissipated, 
he informed the trainees that they were to report to the outer city in two days. Just as the examiner vanished, he couldn't help but ponder the surprising fact that Lin Feng's initial summon was an E-rank ghost, whose abilities far surpassed its rank. This revelation left the examiner intrigued about Lin Feng's true identity. Once the examiner had disappeared, Lin Feng gazed intently at the ghost token clasped in his hand. At that moment, he solemnly vowed to nurture his newfound ghost companion and become the most formidable ghost master, reigning supreme above all others. In the old inner area of Liu City, Lin Feng settled into his apartment. He kicked back on his bed, fixated on the ghost token in his hand. Without thinking, he called out to his ghost companion, Tong Tong, and she instantly materialized beside him on the bed. As Lin Feng sat up, he couldn't help but notice the sudden drop in temperature. After a moment, he let out a sigh and praised Tong Tong for her performance in the previous battle. But to his surprise, there was no response from his companion. She just continued to stare off into space. Lin Feng wondered if ghosts lacked consciousness, or if Tong Tong was still too weak to gain it. Suddenly, a system prompt appeared, informing him that he had gained five experience points and another favorability point for talking to Tong Tong for five minutes. He had no idea that simply conversing with her could earn him XP. Curious, he examined Tong Tong's stats window and pondered over her evil mode, something he had never heard of before. Most E-ranked ghosts didn't have spells, so Tong Tong's case was probably unique because of the system. Despite her XP being maxed out at her current level, Lin Feng decided not to level her up to avoid drawing unwanted attention. Meanwhile, his primary focus would be on figuring out the system and finding more ways to rack up experience points. It was surprising for him to discover that simply patting Tong Tong's head would earn him points, even though he couldn't physically touch her. Throughout the day in his apartment, he continued interacting with Tong Tong differently, all adding to his point tally. By the time he was ready to hit the hay, he had managed to accumulate a total of 50 experience points and 10 companion favorability points, and the next day marked the beginning of his training as a ghost master. As Lin Feng strolled through the academy campus, he couldn't help but feel like a lone wolf, sensing the buzz of excitement among the people around him. News had spread like wildfire about his heroic actions from the previous day and the unexpected outcome of the battle. His fellow trainees whispered and murmured as they passed him, while some secretly plotted to approach and recruit him. Despite being fully aware of the attention he was receiving, Lin Feng played it cool and acted as if he had no clue about the situation. Before him was a bus, and all the new Ghostmaster trainees were getting on board. After a while, they set off towards their destination. Lin Feng noticed a small commotion when one of the students freaked out over a ghost on the bus. Usually, this would have concerned Lin Feng as well. However, he realized that the ghosts around him posed no threat because Tong Tong didn't react to any of them. Even though there was a ghost nearby staring at him, he knew it meant no harm. His calm demeanor caught the attention of his fellow trainees, who wondered why he was so relaxed. Just then, a senior ghost master stood up and addressed all the trainees, reassuring them that the outer city was filled with harmless ghosts that didn't emit any evil energy. He advised them to ignore their presence. Shortly after, the bus arrived at the gate, leading to Liu City's outer area. The bus came to a stop for a routine check, and then the gate opened. Lin Feng's bus drove through a dark tunnel, and at the end, a breathtaking sight awaited them. There stood a towering golden wall rumored to encircle the inner city. It was said that the wall was made of one meter thick gold to prevent any ghosts from passing through into the inner city. In this world, gold was not only a precious metal, but also possessed the extraordinary ability to repel ghostly energies. Consequently, it became a vital resource in fortifying defensive structures such as city walls and bunkers, as well as in the creation of weapons specifically designed to combat these spectral entities. In the case of Liu City's Golden Wall, this magnificent barrier was an impenetrable shield, safeguarding the inner city from the relentless onslaught of ghostly hordes. A while later, the bus arrived at its destination, and everyone aboard was free to exit. Lin Feng stepped out of the bus and was met with a spectacular sight. He had arrived at the outer city, where an imposing statue of a legendary ghost master greeted him. The new trainees immediately noticed the numerous ghosts hovering around the area, and also, many workers were present who were primarily middle-aged men. Lin Feng casually commented, saying those above forty, who had no reproductive value, would only go to the outer city and perform manual labor. This comment caught the attention of some of the trainees around him, who wondered which academy he came from. Many of them recognized Lin Feng, and stood in awe of his presence, while others tried to get his attention. 
Their clamor was interrupted by a swirling mass of paper, which swiftly condensed to form the body of their examiner. The paper man promptly greeted the trainees, stood next to a table of essential material, and announced that they would need to receive three months of comprehensive training for them to become ghost masters officially. The paper man then asked the trainees to approach the table and collect the map of the outer city, as well as a tracking device. Afterward, they would proceed to find their accommodations. The paper man informed the trainees that all the available living quarters were sealed, and each had ghosts of varying strengths haunting them. It was only when they defeated said ghosts that they could own the houses. Beyond the plaza where Lin Feng and his colleagues stood was the residential area divided into three sections, the common area, the noble area, and the mansion area. The paper man informed the trainees that acquiring accommodations would be their first test, and if they so wished, they could confront the ghosts alone or form teams. The larger the house was, the stronger the ghost that haunted it. Naturally, the mansion had the highest difficulty. The paper man welcomed those daring to try and obtain one for themselves. However, they had a time limit of 24 hours to complete the task. At that moment, Lin Feng received a system notification. He had received a mission to obtain a house by himself. He would then earn between 100 and 1,000 XP, depending on the size of the house, along with one ghost pill to upgrade his companion. At that moment, a girl addressed Lin Feng in a familiar tone and asked to speak with him. She seemed charming while asking whether he wanted to team up with her. However, to her surprise, Lin Feng turned away and informed her that he wanted a house for himself. His response left the girl speechless and embarrassed because she had never been rejected by a man her entire life. A male trainee glared at Lin Feng's back, wondering why the latter acted arrogantly, even though they were all Ghostmaster trainees. Right then, he noticed the direction in which Lin Feng was headed and asked whether the latter had the wrong direction because he was walking toward the mansion area. When Lin Feng arrived at his destination, he realized the ghost aura around him differed from the other areas as expected. He found an elder ghost master reclining on a nearby bench and inquired how to access the mansions. In response, the older man sternly advised him to vacate the premises and seek alternative accommodation. He elucidated that the limited number of mansions were specifically designated for students like Lin Feng, who had recently bonded with their ghost companions. However, it had been over a decade since anyone had inhabited those grand residences. With a perplexed look on Lin Feng's face, he couldn't help but wonder if the daunting task had deterred everyone else. However, the Ghost Master's response was far from reassuring. An uneasy smile played on his lips as he disclosed that numerous individuals had dared to acquire a mansion only to meet their demise. It was at this moment that the Ghost Master unveiled the chilling truth. The mansions were infested with malevolent C-ranked ghosts, a formidable challenge that even seasoned Ghost Masters struggled to confront alone. And here stood Lin Feng a mere novice who had recently awakened to his abilities, facing a task that seemed impossible. He warned that even though Lin Feng might survive, his ghost companion might get destroyed. When that happened, the boy could only end up becoming a reproducer. Lin Feng took a moment to the stakes involved. Tong Tong was only an E-ranked ghost. The power difference between rank E and rank C was too great. However, Lin Feng had previously saved up considerable XP, which could be used at that moment to upgrade Tong Tong's level. A system prompt appeared requesting him to upgrade Tong Tong's level using a ghost pill. Lin Feng naturally accepted, and the prompt was quickly replaced by a confirmation of Tong Tong's upgraded stats at the D rank. Moreover, Lin Feng's body had been strengthened by 80%. Once the upgrade was complete, Lin Feng walked toward a mansion's entrance. He surprised the older ghost master who called after him, wondering whether the boy had not heard anything he had said. Lin Feng was deep in thought and concluded that if Tong Tong at the D rank activated her evil mode, her combat ability would be at the C rank. With such thoughts, he confidently marched through the door, his body radiating a fierce battle intent. As he took his first steps into the Grand Mansion, the door ominously slammed shut in typical haunted house fashion. The vast flight of steps loomed before him, his gaze shifted upwards, and in that fleeting moment, he caught sight of a ghostly figure, a mere shadow in the darkness. Determined, Lin Feng wasted no time and began his ascent, determined to confront the apparition he had just seen. Suddenly, the air was filled with chopping, echoing through the halls. Could it be that the ghost was hiding in the kitchen? The noise resembled that of a skilled chef, expertly slicing vegetables and a diligent maid carrying plates. Lin Feng's curiosity won, and he burst into a nearby room, hoping to confirm his suspicions. However, he found a chaotic mess, a room in disarray. As he scanned the room, his attention was momentarily diverted, and at that moment, 
A dark hand emerged, brandishing a knife poised to strike. Lin Feng was caught off guard, a victim of a surprise attack, but just as the blade was about to descend upon him, Tong Tong, his loyal companion, intercepted the blow, shielding him from harm. The sudden movement sent shockwaves through Lin Feng's body, his heart pounding. Tong Tong bravely pursued the assailant. However, in that split second, Lin Feng realized the gravity of the situation, but it was too late. The danger had already taken hold, and the battle for survival had begun. Separated from his ghostly companion, Lin Feng was in a dangerous situation. A sinister figure emerged from the shadows, wielding a menacing meat cleaver, ready to strike at his vulnerable head. But Lin Feng, blessed with quick reflexes, managed to evade the deadly blow just in the nick of time. As he turned to face the door, his heart sank as he realized another dark silhouette had blocked his path. To his astonishment, the maid outfits behind him had also come to life, their once harmless presence now filled with malice. Confusion and fear gripped Lin Feng as he tried to comprehend the unfolding chaos. He had been warned about the presence of a single evil ghost, yet now he found himself confronted by three malevolent ghosts. Trapped and with no way to retreat, he regretted not being able to call upon Tong Tong for assistance. Cornered and outnumbered, Lin Feng braced himself for the impending attack. But in sheer determination, he summoned every ounce of strength within him. With lightning speed, he propelled himself forward, keeping his body low to the ground, narrowly escaping the clutches of his assailants. Grateful for his newfound physical prowess and enhanced speed, he felt a surge of relief course through his veins. As he escaped from the room, an inexplicable phenomenon unfolded before his eyes. The once animated maid outfit suddenly lost their life force, collapsing onto the floor in a heap. Intrigued by this peculiar turn of events, Lin Feng put his theory to the test. Curious, he cautiously extended his foot across the doorway's threshold, and just as he suspected, the dark silhouettes breathed life into the maid outfits again. Lin Feng's heart raced as he came to a startling realization. The dark figure haunting him was not the ghost's main body, but its sinister and unique ability. A shiver ran down his spine as he understood that the evil ghost was deliberately trying to lure him to the second floor, where danger surely awaited. At that moment, a surge of panic washed over him as he realized that Tong Tong was in grave peril. He knew she had fallen into a trap, and without a second thought, he sprinted down the hallway, desperately trying to shout a warning. But fate had already dealt its cruel hand, for Tong Tong had sprung the trap before Lin Feng could reach her. As he drew nearer, the dark silhouette that had initially attacked him emerged from the ceiling, poised to strike again. Lin Feng couldn't help but marvel at the figure's unnerving agility, wondering if it was the ghost's proper form. No longer willing to be a passive victim, Lin Feng unsheathed his golden dagger with a swift and fluid motion. With all his might, he swiped at the ghost's torso while it was still airborne. Yet, to his dismay, his attack proved futile, leaving him vulnerable to a fierce counterattack. Only through sheer luck did he manage to evade the ghost's deadly blow. As the ghost relentlessly pursued him, Lin Feng made a split-second decision and sought refuge in a nearby room. In that very instant, the dark figure vanished into thin air, leaving nothing but a pile of lifeless clothes. But the danger was far from over, for Tong Tong's assailants now turned their attention towards Lin Feng. Seizing the opportunity, the boy summoned Tong Tong back to safety using her token, much to the dismay of her assailants. The token continued to emit a radiant glow as it absorbed the last remnants of Tong Tong's form. Sensing the imminent danger, Lin Feng swiftly retreated into the dimly lit hallway. With a surge of adrenaline, he vaulted over the railing from the second floor, crashing through an aging wooden floor and plunging into the abyss of the basement below. In the blink of an eye, Lin Feng regained his composure, but his frustration grew as he realized the formidable challenge posed by the c rank ghosts. As he glanced ahead, a terrifying sight greeted his eyes. Tong Tong stood valiantly, her arms outstretched in a protective stance, shielding Lin Feng from the malevolent entity that had caught her attention. The wicked ghost loomed before her, resembling a grotesque amalgamation of writhing tentacles, each adorned with eerie, ghostly visages etched upon its surface. Before the duo, a grotesque and malevolent figure loomed, a soul-devouring ghost of unimaginable horror. Though motionless, its C-rank status indicated its formidable power, fueled by the souls it consumed. Its most chilling ability was manipulating soul energy, enabling it to control inanimate objects. Hovering between her master and their new adversary, Tong Tong braced herself for the impending battle. Lin Feng, ever watchful, 
recognized this abomination as the ghost's main body. Suddenly, Lin Feng's thoughts were shattered as the ghost launched a tentacle towards them. With lightning reflexes, Tong Tong swiftly countered, using her immense strength to repel the attack. Yet, amidst the chaos, one of the ghost's numerous tentacles struck her chest with a resounding blow. Lin Feng, filled with concern, urged her to exercise caution, gripping his golden dagger tightly, ready to retaliate. Relentlessly, the ghost unleashed a barrage of deadly tentacle strikes, but Lin Feng managed to sever some of them. In a heartbeat, he positioned himself in front of Tong Tong, shielding her from harm. For a fleeting moment, he fended off the ghost's onslaught. However, the tide soon turned against him as he lost sight of his adversary's movements. In that brief lapse of concentration, one tentacle ensnared his dagger-wielding hand, while another coiled around his torso, dragging him inexorably toward the ghost. Tong Tong tried desperately to intervene, but her efforts were in vain as she too was quickly overwhelmed. Lin Feng found himself locked in a desperate struggle for his life. He fiercely attempted to strike the ghost with his gleaming golden dagger, but his efforts proved futile. The young boy fought desperately as he was mercilessly dragged into the gelatinous form of the ghost. At that moment, Lin Feng's realization struck him like lightning. He was being devoured. He could feel his body growing weaker with each passing second. Outside the mansion, the paper man urgently spoke to the elder Ghostmaster, seeking answers about Lin Feng's dire situation. The examiner was informed that the boy had ventured into the mansion alone. It had been a harrowing ten minutes since then. The paper man was told that the specter inside the mansion was powerful, even among C-rank ghosts. Upon hearing this, the paper man barged into the mansion in haste, hoping that he would not be too late to save the boy's life. Meanwhile, deep in the basement, Lin Feng's entire being had been consumed by the evil ghost. He had surrendered to the futility of his struggle, with only his left forearm desperately stretching out towards Tong Tong, the last glimmer of hope. Witnessing her master's dire predicament, a fierce inferno ignited within Tong Tong's eyes as she unleashed her evil alter ego. The very fabric of her dress intercepted the menacing tentacles of their adversary, effectively restraining their advance. In that pivotal moment, Tong Tong embodied the essence of destruction itself. With lightning speed, she reached out to Lin Feng, seizing his arm with unwavering determination, and forcefully plunged into the ghostly entity. Once inside, she clung onto Lin Feng with unyielding strength, summoning forth an explosive surge of her spectral aura, unleashing devastation upon their spectral foe. The paper man had finally reached the floor section Lin Feng had broken through, only to be greeted by a mesmerizing red light emanating from the basement. At that moment, he realized the gravity of the situation, and without hesitation, he leaped through the hole. As he landed, his eyes widened in horror, for he was just in time to witness the devastating explosion caused by the wave of crimson ghost aura. The resulting blast shook the foundations of the surroundings, sending tremors that reverberated far beyond the confines of the building. And as the dust settled, the paper man's gaze fell upon a scene that would forever be etched in his memory. Tong Tong, with unwavering determination, cradled the unconscious body of Lin Feng amidst the remnants of the evil C-rank ghost. The paper man stood there, his heart pounding in his chest, utterly shocked by the sheer power that had obliterated the evil ghost instantly. Tong Tong slowly returned to her token, but she held on to her master until the last moment. Once her form disappeared, Lin Feng received a system notification bearing the results of the battle and the rewards. The boy heaved a sigh of relief and admitted to himself that this time around, he had experienced a closer brush with death. After confirming Lin Feng's safety, the paper man vanished in a brilliant blue blaze. The flames were the ghost aura used by a ghost master to control the paper man puppet. The energy returned to its owner, a lady with purple shoulder-length hair. Her butler offered a cup of tea and asked the lady, whom he called the guild leader, whether she had discovered something during the Ghostmaster test. The lady took a moment to stretch as her butler placed down a cup of tea. She was Liu City's branch leader of the Ghostmaster Guild. She responded to her butler's question and said that, indeed, she had discovered something. There was a young man named Lin Feng, who had a very unique ghost companion. Its combat strength was something that she had never seen before. The butler commented about how lucky the boy was to obtain such a companion. The lady contemplated Lin Feng's potential as she sipped her cup of tea with a speculative tone, said, Physic body. The term shocked the butler, who said that people with such unique body constitutions were directly sent to the headquarters of the Ghost Master Guild as soon as they were born. Liu City had no right to nurture such a person. He wondered whether the boy had been overlooked somehow. Humans with the physic constitution had a unique talent 
that enabled them to tame many ghosts. At the beginning of the chaotic era, only those with such an ability could become ghost masters. However, they did not live for very long because they either died at the hands of stronger ghosts or got devoured by evil ghosts and even became ghosts themselves. After an extended period, those with the physic body found safe ways to nurture themselves. At Liu City's outer mansion area, the older ghost master congratulated Lin Feng for obtaining a mansion at fifteen. He handed over the key to the mansion, wished the boy good luck, and directed him to go and register and get his ghost master ID. Among the trainees queued at the registration area, a majority found accommodations in the common area. There was also a rumor that a girl had found a house in the noble area. Lin Feng stood in the queue and overheard the conversations among his colleagues. An unfortunate trainee dared to venture into the noble area, which was devastating because his ghost companion was destroyed. It was soon Lin Feng's turn at the registration desk. The officer asked for his key and was surprised to see it was a mansion key. This came as a shock to him, as well as those around Lin Feng. The queue suddenly became restless. The trainees had a quick re-evaluation of the situation. They thought the girl who had obtained a house in the noble area was strong. However, no one expected someone to challenge the mansion area and succeed. They were more surprised that Lin Feng had challenged the evil C-ranked ghost and emerged victorious. A moment later, Lin Feng's registration was complete. He learned he was the first ghost master under 20 to live in a mansion. He also received his ghost master ID and tracking device. As a reward, he received 10,000 credit points, the currency in Liu City, which he could use on living expenses. He was also informed he could earn more credit points by doing missions. Afterward, he put away his rewards and device as fellow trainees expressed jealousy and admiration. While Lin Feng had earned 10,000 credit points, they had collectively earned 3,000 as a group and still had to split the same among themselves. A blue-haired girl wondered if she, too, could live in a mansion if she became Lin Feng's girlfriend. Soon after departing the registration area, Lin Feng called Tong Tong out from her token. She instantly materialized before him, and he thanked her for her excellent performance in the previous battle. He patted her head and said that since they had obtained a substantial reward, they ought to do some shopping. At that moment, something unexpected happened. Tong Tong nodded her head in response. Lin Feng exclaimed in surprise at the fact that Tong Tong seemed to have gained self-awareness. Lin Feng traveled with Tong Tong to the outer city's shopping district in a few stops on their shopping trip. Although Lin Feng had won a mansion and, along with 10,000 credit points, he still needed to save some money. Therefore, he decided to spend only 1,000 credit points on shopping. His priority was to obtain daily necessities like bedsheets, towels, and utensils. At the cashier, he discovered that even bedsheets were expensive. Lin Feng learned that the prices were driven because Liu City was facing a shortage of necessities. In response, Lin Feng gave a lame excuse to avoid purchasing. The next moment, the cashier pointed to Lin Feng's left and asked whether all the items Tong Tong had carried would be bought. Tong Tong had many rolls of toilet paper and looked awkward as she drew the attention of other shoppers at the store. The sight made Lin Feng speechless, but he purchased them anyway. Food items were also on the list of necessities. So Tong Tong enthusiastically filled a shopping trolley with an assortment of snacks and ingredients. At the clothing store, Lin Feng was dumbfounded when Tong Tong selected a few dresses and multiple hats for herself. By the time Tong Tong grabbed a bunch of weapons, Lin Feng had given up all resistance and looked defeated. The system informed him that his inventory space had been maxed out and asked whether he wished to upgrade it for 500 credit points, adding to Lin Feng's headache. Later that evening, the duo returned to their mansion, where Lin Feng received a summary of his spending of credit points and their balance. Shopping with Tong Tong also earned him 30 favorability points. Although it hurt him to make such frivolous purchases, the upside was that Tong Tong seemed to be very happy. Even so, Lin Feng realized he needed to be more careful when spending money. He had learned the hard way that it would be costly to raise a ghost. Lin Feng relaxed on his balcony and browsed through his device, as he thought about the necessity of clearing missions to earn more money. The Ghost Master Guild required all trainees to complete 12 missions in three months. Only afterward would they receive their rankings as a Ghost Masters. Lin Feng proceeded to look at the mission board and the corresponding rewards. The beginner missions were all of Liu City's E and F-ranked evil ghosts. The reward was typically around 2,000 credit points. However, only by exterminating stronger evil ghosts would he earn more money and XP which was needed to upgrade Tong Tong. Medium-ranked missions were decent, with a moderate risk. If Lin Feng selected one of them, he would have the opportunity to explore. However, dealing with B-ranked evil ghosts was risky. 
Therefore, after careful consideration, he settled on the mission to exterminate the C-ranked water ghost. The boy immediately sat up in surprise when the device showed him the mission had already been taken. Fortunately, Lin Feng still had options. He quickly chose another, more rewarding mission. It required the extermination of a ghost that ate through Liu City's food reserves. The following day, Lin Feng arrived at the food storage area of Liu City, located within the first defense line. When he arrived at the destination, Lin Feng noticed that there weren't many people around. Liu City had many fortresses with ghost masters guarding them. Despite that, evil ghosts occasionally slipped through the security gaps. Lin Feng's current location, the first defense line, was considered the safest area and had many large factories and warehouses. When Lin Feng arrived at the handling office, he was received by the workers who wore safety helmets like miners. They were quick to confirm his identity and also questioned his ability to solve their crisis. Lin Feng responded affirmatively and was later directed to the mission site. He was also informed about the evil ghost's cunning nature, which made it difficult to find. As such, Lin Feng must stay at the site for a few days. Lin Feng took a moment to ponder and casually waved goodbye to the workers as he headed toward the mission site. The office workers wondered whether a teenager like Lin Feng could handle a C-ranked hunger ghost. One of them commented about how ghost master deaths were commonplace, and if the boy sought his demise, all they could do was let him end things on his terms. Lin Feng made his way through a densely forested area. After a brief hike, he found a food storage cave. Its entrance was well hidden as he had expected. Lin Feng found two guards stationed at the entrance. One of them greeted him respectfully and asked whether he had arrived to deal with the ghost. Lin Feng replied affirmatively before asking why the storage space was small. The guard clarified that the entrance alone appeared small. However, the inside of the cave was enormous. He explained that the rock that made up the cave could isolate the aura of humans. If the food storage area turned chaotic or was invaded by evil ghosts, the cave could be turned into a temporary shelter after using gold paint to seal the entrance. Lin Feng entered the cave to begin his investigation. The two guards accompanied him and explained that although the hunger ghost did not harm anyone, it consumed a considerable amount of food. Lin Feng learned that the hunger ghost hid only when it detected the presence of ghost masters. During the previous week, the ghost had consumed several kilograms of food. A moment later, Lin Feng summoned Tong Tong and declared it was time to hunt. The ribbon on his neck glowed brightly and released Tong Tong's ethereal form, which appeared before everyone present. Her appearance left the guards dumbfounded, and chills ran down their spines. Tong Tong went straight to business and vigilantly scanned the area. Lin Feng noticed her change in demeanor and asked whether she could sense the evil ghost's aura. Tong Tong appeared to see something and turned to face one of the guards. While Lin Feng questioned whether the ghost was outside, Tong Tong immediately transformed into her evil mode and her ghost aura turned menacing. A slit appeared on her forehead and opened to reveal a third eye. Lin Feng was stunned when he realized that Tong Tong had unlocked a new ability. The guards trembled in fear as Tong Tong pointed at one of them, who immediately froze in place. In his moment of uncertainty, the guard felt a strange movement in the pocket of his jacket, which glowed bright green and began thrashing about. Lin Feng instantly knew that the hunger ghost had been hiding in the guard's pocket. Right then, the latter's face contorted, his body convulsed as a sickly aura surrounded him, and his skin turned pale. A moment later, his eyes darkened. A cold breath escaped his mouth before he lunged toward Lin Feng. While the guard questioned his now feral colleague, Lin Feng reacted quickly and intercepted the attack with a foot to his assailant's face, which sent the latter tumbling back by several meters. The man returned and charged Lin Feng a second time. Right then, Lin Feng realized the hunger ghost possessed the man. If Lin Feng's body had not been strengthened twice, he would have been gravely injured. It seemed like the possessed man had not taken any damage. Moreover, he had acquired a high combat ability after possession. Lin Feng's thoughts were disrupted when Tong Tong, in her evil mode, flitted past him and intercepted the possessed man. She grabbed his throat and forced his mouth open. What happened next? Shocked Lin Feng, Tong Tong plunged her free hand into the possessed man's mouth and dragged the hunger ghost out of him. The evil ghost struggled out of her grip as though to escape. However, its real intention was more sinister. It released a dense wave of ghost aura from its wide open mouth and engulfed the area in an instant. At that moment, Lin Feng and the remaining guard were trapped in pitch black darkness. The guard panicked and said that they had been devoured and were currently in the hunger ghost's stomach. Lin Feng, who was calmer, 
thought differently when he noticed several gaping mouths around them. They were currently trapped within the Hunger Ghosts' ghost territory. A ghost territory was a personal space created by ghosts, within which they could control everything. Once someone was trapped inside a ghost territory, they would temporarily disappear from the outside world. This unique ability belonged to high-ranking ghosts. Outside, Tong Tong hovered around the spot where Lin Feng had previously stood. Inside the ghost territory, one of the mouths lashed out its tongue swiftly, grabbed the guard before he could react, and dragged him into the open mouth. Lin Feng could only watch as the guard was devoured. Before he could consider his next move, Lin Feng noticed that his foot had been caught in a mouth that emerged from the ground. He cursed his terrible luck for having an inadequate reaction speed. Despite his predicament, he drew his golden dagger and stabbed the mouth as it closed around his left foot. While he desperately struggled to free his foot, a pair of ghostly claws emerged from within the mouth. The crimson ghost aura spread out from them into the ghost territory around Lin Feng and shattered it instantly. Lin Feng's savior had been Tong Tong, who had utilized her third eye, which could detect hidden ghost aura, along with her tears ability. Lin Feng sighed in relief. He had no idea that Tong Tong could destroy a ghost territory. As he gazed at Tong Tong with admiration, the system notified him that the battle had been won and issued the rewards. Lin Feng was also informed that Tong Tong had obtained the Devourer's talent from the slain hunger ghost. Tong Tong slowly hovered toward Lin Feng and looked at him with concern as if to ask whether he was okay. Lin Feng patted her head and reassured her that he was unscathed. At the food handling office, the workers were surprised by Lin Feng's return. One of them mocked him for being a coward who had returned with his tail between his legs. Lin Feng did not respond to their mockery, but reported completing the mission. The unexpected announcement caused the workers at the desk to stutter. While he was still in disbelief, another worker arrived at the doorway in time to confirm that Lin Feng was telling the truth. The confirmation further surprised the man at the desk. The latter nervously apologized for his earlier words and informed Lin Feng that he would prepare the reward, which would soon be delivered to the boy's account. Afterward, Lin Feng departed, bid them farewell, and returned to his mansion. He sat on the couch with Tong Tong as the system notified him that he had received the credit points from the mission. The system promptly assigned him a new mission. Upgrade Tong to the C rank. The reward would grant Tong Tong the ghost territory ability. Lin Feng gazed with interest at the new mission and looked at Tong Tong's stats window. Her new Deaver's talent had a 30% chance to acquire an enemy ghost's aura, ability, or item. Lin Feng hadn't previously noticed that Tong Tong's potential had risen to a three-star rating. That meant that the limit of her potential had increased along with the XP requirement for future upgrades. Lin Feng realized that devouring talent increased his chances of earning ghost pills. Upon reflecting on the earlier mission, Lin Feng concluded that the Hunger Ghost was relatively weak among C-ranked ghosts. However, despite that, it possessed a ghost territory. He understood that if he encountered evil ghosts with a similar ability, he may not leave unscathed. Lin Feng needed to complete several low-ranked missions and defeat many D-ranked evil ghosts. Once Tong Tong upgraded to the C rank and obtained the ghost territory, he would be able to handle missions with higher difficulties. In the outer city's ghost master living quarters, a team of trainees noticed that in the previous two days, most of the D-ranked missions had been taken as soon as they were posted. The trainees were frustrated because they had explicitly formed a team of five to challenge D-ranked missions, and wondered whether the team responsible for the poaching could handle the missions as fast as they accepted them. The trainees were unaware that the team comprised a lonesome trainee named Lin Feng and his reliable companion Tong Tong. Lin Feng handled the D-ranked missions hastily and accumulated many credit points and XP. The duo worked efficiently like seasoned battle veterans. In the evening, they camped out in the wilderness, where Lin Feng had pitched a tent, and Tong Tong sat by the fire. The system notified Lin Feng that he had finally accumulated enough XP to upgrade Tong Tong and asked whether he wanted to proceed. On the successful upgrade, Tong Tong had risen to the C rank and Lin Feng's body had been strengthened by 1.5 times. Moreover, Tong Tong had obtained a ghost territory. While Lin Feng was proud of the achievement, he wondered what Tong Tong's ghost territory would look like and how to activate it. He decided to test the new ability in the wilderness where no one else was present. Elsewhere, within Liu City's second defense line, on a random deserted mountain, stood a courtyard, outside of which three ghost masters camped. As they scouted the structure, which was a ghost territory, they speculated that it belonged to at least a B-ranked evil ghost because it was visible to the outside world. As they scouted the open door of the mysterious courtyard, 
The Ghostmasters wondered about the identity of the evil ghost and why it dared to show its ghost territory within Liu City's defense area. They all wondered whether it could be a trap, but the leader boldly stated that there was nothing to be scared of. Although they faced a B-ranked evil ghost, their team was made of B-ranked Ghostmasters. One of the Ghostmasters said with eager expectation that when the time came to confront the ghost in question, the loot would be considerable. Afterward, the leader said he would focus on attacking the enemy while his colleagues provided backup and focused on dispelling the ghost territory. After formulating a plan, the three men dashed toward the empty courtyard. When they stepped through the entrance, they found the place unusually deserted. They began searching through the rooms while commenting about the lack of treasure in them. Finally, they stood before a sealed door, and the ghost master named Lao San was asked by the leader to open it. The door was kicked open, and to their surprise, they saw only an antique hanger. On it was a traditional red gown. The team realized that they had been scared for nothing and approached the cloth hanger while one of them wondered whether they had entered a girl's room. The leader inspected the hanger and gown and said they were strange. He stood there and cautiously held his ghost token, ready for anything. One of them speculated that if a ghost were present, the ghost companions would have reacted. However, considering the latter event had not happened, perhaps the evil ghost was hiding outside. Suddenly, Lao San yelped in alarm and retreated by a step. He had seen the reflection of a woman on the dressing table's mirror. The woman seemed to be doing her makeup. Lao San quickly informed his colleagues that the ghost was in the mirror. In response, the team hastily called out their ghost companions. However, they were surprised to learn that their ghost companions were unresponsive. It was then that something dawned on the leader. The abnormal occurrence was likely the unique effect of the ghost territory they had invaded, to interfere with the connection between ghost masters and their companions. With that dreadful realization, he commanded his team to retreat with utmost haste. Unfortunately, the door quickly shut behind them, and a menacing aura rose from the dressing table. It swiftly overwhelmed and slaughtered them within mere moments. Within the deserted mountain range where the ghost territory once stood lay the remains of the Ghost Masters. The members of the Ghost Master Guild had arrived and were met with the gruesome scene. The Guild's branch leader was informed that the three had been B-rank Ghost Masters. A blonde-haired female Ghost Master inspected the body before her. The leader, the beautiful purple-haired President Yon, uncovered her head while speculating that the ghost was searching for something, which was likely within Liu City. Its recent appearance convinced her of this because they had pursued it for half a month. When the blonde ghost master asked what the ghost had been looking for, the leader said she wasn't sure. However, she knew that the ghost specialized in hiding and retreating. It was looking for something, and had arrived at Liu City from High City. The blonde informed President Yon that the technical team would retrieve the corpses and analyze them. She lamented their lack of awareness and said they could have set a trap if they only knew what the evil ghost was looking for. As the corpses were placed in body bags, the leader asked her subordinates to continue the pursuit and split into three teams. She would then assign each team a paperman clone. Miss Yon also requested everyone present to notify all the ghost masters within Liu City about the situation and to order them to stay within the bounds of Liu City. Only after they intercepted the evil ghost would Liu City be officially sealed? Elsewhere, while Liu Feng looked at the mission board, he noticed an increase in C-ranked missions, which were usually unavailable. The fact that no Ghost Master was snatching up missions made the boy wonder if they were all dead. However, he did not care. Since he was already outside Liu City, he would use the opportunity to earn more credit points and test the C-ranked Tong Tong's new ability. Lin Feng accepted a new C-rank mission with a reward of 22,000 credit points. The mission required him to exterminate Fruit Forest's murderer ghost. Lin Feng finally arrived outside the Fruit Forest and entered its eerie atmosphere. Suddenly, he was a corpse hanging from a branch by a lock of hair. Its elongated tongue fell outside its mouth. Lin Feng immediately thought that it could be the farmer's corpse or perhaps a hung dead ghost. He walked through the forest for another half hour and noticed more corpses in the branches. It was then that he thought it was weird that all the corpses looked alike. Suddenly, some movement was behind him, and he turned to face the threat. Lin Feng was surprised by the number of corpses that had suddenly multiplied. He was on guard when he realized he could have wandered into a ghost territory. Right then, a ghost rope fell toward him. The boy reacted in time and attempted to intercept it. However, it passed right through his outstretched hand, encircled his head, tightly wrapped itself around his neck, and began strangling him. At that moment, Tong Tong's fair-skinned arm suddenly grabbed the rope and tore it from Lin Feng's neck. It was as Lin Feng had expected. His opponent was a hanging ghost. 
It used a special ghost rope that normal humans could not grab. However, the rope could strangle humans. The rope was invincible against normal humans. The hanging ghost was displeased with Tong Tong's intervention and drove the hanging corpses to attack the duo. Lin Feng quickly ordered Tong Tong to eliminate them as she transformed into evil mode. She was quickly entangled in the ghost rope. However, she utilized her tearing ability to sever them. The corpses continued charging but were instantly engulfed in powerful flames released by Tong Tong. The latter's attack brought the battle to an abrupt end. Afterward, the system indicated that the rewards had been issued. A single ghost pill and a damaged piece of ghost rope with unknown uses. Tong Tong reverted to her usual form while Lin Feng wondered how the evil ghost had been eliminated so quickly. Tong Tong did not even need to activate her ghost territory. It seemed to him that C-ranked evil ghosts were relatively weak. The boy dismissed the thoughts and felt lucky to have obtained some valuable loot, which he thought would earn him a lot of money if he sold them in the market. Until then, he would store them in his inventory. His next stop would be to redeem the credit points from the village that issued the mission. Meanwhile, in Liu City's outer area, there were many discussions among the ghost masters present. There was word that many strong and senior ghost masters had returned to the city and that the gates would be locked for 24 hours. They considered the implications of such measures. Some of them thought that they were an indication of a bleak future, considering the high population of ghosts compared to humans and that the population growth rate of ghosts might not be slower than that of ghost masters. Lin Feng was also mentioned in the discussions. The rookie had displayed extraordinary feats of strength, and word had spread that he had obtained a mansion on the first try of the house distribution exam. It was common knowledge that the mansion area had C-ranked evil ghosts, and it typically took 30 years for a ghost companion to reach the C-rank. However, considering Lin Feng's accomplishments, the ghost master speculated he could possess the unique physic constitution. A mysterious hooded figure overheard the conversation and turned to his counterpart to ask for the latter's opinion. The man responded and said, If the rumor was true, Lin Feng's ghost companion had great potential. The ghost master, with a scar along his right eye, had an evil grin and said they would be rich if they could secretly eliminate Lin Feng and capture his ghost companion. In the mansion area of the ghost master's residential area, the two evil ghost masters were poking around and asking for Lin Feng's whereabouts. They had found a trainee who informed them that Lin Feng lived at the mansion behind them. However, considering how long the lights had stayed off, Lin Feng was probably out of the city doing missions. Upon their further inquiry on the matter, the rookie informed them that Lin Feng was unusual and had been constantly grinding missions. Recently, there was a rumor that his ghost companion was almost at the C rank. The rookie then asked why the men were looking for Lin Feng. In response, the men said they were curious as they walked away. The scar-faced ghost master asked his brother what they should do, considering Lin Feng was outside the city. In response, the bearded man said they would leave Liu City to hunt Lin Feng down. All ghost masters had returned to the city. Therefore, they wouldn't be found out quickly if they killed Lin Feng outside. Afterward, they would use his shroud bag to capture his ghost companion and sell it for a few million credit points. With those words, his mouth stretched into an evil grin. The scar-faced brother asked how they would track Lin Feng, considering the size of the outer city's surroundings, but the bearded brother promised he had a trick. At sunrise the following day, Tong Tong diligently guarded the outside of Lin Feng's tent. The latter emerged from within and asked whether Tong Tong had protected him the whole night. Tong Tong had become more expressive ever since she ranked up, so she eagerly stared into Lin Feng's eyes. The boy thought that Tong Tong was expecting to be praised as she hid her blushing face. Lin Feng understood her expectations and patted her on the head in appreciation. Afterward, Lin Feng took out his device to find a new C-rank mission to complete. When he turned his device on, he found a few unread messages. Someone informed him about a powerful evil ghost outside Liu City. Therefore, all the ghost masters had returned to the city. Lin Feng realized that it was why no one stole missions from him. He also read a message from a junior classmate called Xiao Di, informing him that two ghost masters around the age of 30 had been asking around for Lin Feng's whereabouts. Xiao Di suspected that the men were not good people. Moreover, he found it weird that they left the city the previous day after learning Lin Feng was also outside. Xiao Di had heard tales of evil ghost masters who stole from and killed their colleagues for profit, so he warned Lin Feng to be careful. The message left Lin Feng wondering if someone wanted to harm him. He considered the age of the ghost masters and thought that they would be at the C or B rank. He also concluded that the outer city area was large and they would not be able to find him quickly. Suddenly, a realization hit him. 
After considering the precarious situation of the outer city area, with the presence of the evil ghost, his evil pursuers dared to leave the confines of the city. This meant they were most likely capable of tracking Lin Feng down, and their tracking method was probably the mission board. In the last few days, besides Lin Feng, no one else had picked up any missions, E-ranked or higher. Moreover, the rule of the mission board was that once a mission was accepted, it would instantly disappear from the mission board. If Lin Feng thought as they did, the evil duo would be swiping their devices continuously. Once he accepted a mission, they could read the description, and after knowing which mission Lin Feng had taken, they would rush to intercept and ambush him. Lin Feng had a grim expression, and was determined not to wait for his pursuers to eliminate him. He had a plan, and accepted a C-ranked mission to eradicate the ghost at Xiaofeng Mountain. He departed in a direction that seemed correct. However, when he arrived at a crossroad, he headed toward a quarry that had issued a C-ranked mission. He eventually arrived at the quarry and smiled mischievously as he scanned the area. The Ghostmaster Association never set a rule against completing a mission before accepting it on the mission board. In the meantime, the mission he had taken earlier would serve as bait for his enemies. Elsewhere, two evil Ghostmasters had constantly been swiping their devices. After an eternity, they finally found the mission Lin Feng had accepted. Their new destination was Xiaofeng Mountain, which they quickly rushed toward. It was close, so they were sure they would arrive there before Lin Feng. Soon they arrived at their destination. The bearded brother was sure Lin Feng had not yet arrived, so he pointed toward a ruined temple where they would wait to ambush the boy. Back at the quarry's cave, Lin Feng and Tong Tong had executed a final combo attack, which ended the fight in an instant. Afterward, Lin Feng headed to the quarry worker's residence and found an older man who asked whether Lin Feng caused the explosion he had heard earlier. The boy replied affirmatively and said he had come to receive the mission rewards. In response, the older man argued that no one had accepted the mission. Lin Feng discreetly hit the accept button for the mission with his device. He then asked the latter to check again. The older man rechecked his device and found Lin Feng had taken the mission. Back at Xiaofeng Mountain's broken temple, the elder Ghostmaster told his younger brother about something he found strange. After refreshing the mission board, the mission at the quarry area had disappeared. In response, the little brother wondered whether anyone other than Lin Feng was taking missions outside the city. The elder brother considered it plausible because some Ghostmasters were unafraid of death. When asked what they ought to do, to continue camping at their present location or go to the quarry, the elder brother said that considering they had already waited for an hour, and Lin Feng had yet to arrive, the younger brother could continue guarding the place while he headed toward the quarry. As he left, the man asked his little brother to send him a message if Lin Feng arrived, instead of attacking first. Hours later, the man arrived at the quarry and asked the older man if a young boy had eliminated the ghost of the quarry. The older man confirmed that the boy was around fifteen or sixteen. When he heard this, the evil Ghostmaster's expression turned grim as he grabbed the older man's jacket. He demanded to know where Lin Feng had gone, and when the boy had departed, the older man pointed in a direction and said that it had not been long since Lin Feng had left. The Ghostmaster quickly released the older man and dashed toward the direction at top speed. The older man glanced at his retreating figure and lamented that such characters were unfit to be Ghostmasters. He quickly messaged Lin Feng and confirmed that a middle-aged Ghostmaster had arrived seeking the latter's whereabouts and had just left the quarry. The message proved Lin Feng's suspicions right. He was being targeted. Three hours ago, he offered the older man 5,000 credit points for his assistance. Lin Feng asked his accomplice to inform the pursuer that he had left a while ago. The older man accepted the request without hesitation. Lin Feng cursed his pursuers with a wry smile as he gazed at his device. They had underestimated him. Regardless, his plan had been successful, which meant one of them was chasing after him from the quarry, which meant they had split up. The other was likely still at Xiaofeng Mountain. Both pursuers thought he had just left the quarry and would be waiting to ambush him when he accepted the next mission. Lin Feng proceeded with the next phase of his plan and accepted a new C-rank mission to eliminate a ghost in the second defense area. Soon afterward, he completed the mission at the Cold Water Cave and swiftly left with Tong Tong. Considering how far away the Cold Water Cave was, his two pursuers could not meet up. The bearded man who left the quarry was rushing toward the Cold Water Cave while Lin Feng was headed toward Xiaofeng Mountain. Elsewhere, the bearded Ghostmaster ran at top speed while informing his younger brother that the Cold Water Cave's mission had been accepted and that was likely Lin Feng's destination. He planned to take a shortcut and ambush the boy at the location and asked his younger brother to wait for a confirmation message. Lin Feng and his pursuers were executing completely different schemes. Two versus one. 
However, as Lin Feng rushed towards his final destination, he had already made up his mind on what he needed to do. Since his pursuers were after his life, he was determined to make them pay with their own. He had become the predator that would hunt them down. 